Hello, Holy Cross families. It's me, Miss King here. I miss you guys all very much, and I hope that I'm going to be able to see you guys very soon. Today, I have a story I'm going to read you. This story is called Dinosaur Bones, and this book is written by Bob Barner. All right, Dinosaur Bones. Dinosaurs are gone for good. Maybe dinosaurs once lived in your neighborhood. Dinosaurs had teeth to bite and jaws to chew. Can you guys point to your teeth? These are your teeth. And then can you guys point to your jaw? Good job, this is your jaw. They walked the earth when those bones were new. They had bones for legs and bones for hips. Dinosaur bones were used on long dinosaur trips. They had bones with discs and bones with points. Bones for running and bones with sockets and joints. Today, only bones are left to show. But dinosaurs rumbled and creaked long, long ago. So when you see dinosaur bones at a museum in town, remember a dinosaur once used them to get around. All right. That was a fun story. Now I have a friend here who's going to help me with the next thing we're going to do. This is my friend Rex, and we are going to be doing a song today. This song is, let me get this song on my laptop. I think most of you guys know this song. This is called We Are the Dinosaurs, okay? <clears throat> Right. Some of you guys know the motions already, too. We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. We make the earth flat. We make the earth flat. Eating your food. Stop and eat our food on the ground. Stop and eat our food. Somewhere in the moon. Stop and eat our food and then we march around. Okay, get ready.
Good job, friends. All right, thank you very much. I hope you guys all have a very safe week with your family and enjoy your family time. Bye.